Travis Hollins, uh, worked with uh, YMUS uh, Motorsports Group for ATV Side-by-Side -side Product Planning. We're out here in Glamis, California, uh, kind of sand dunes and kind of riding ATVs and side-by-sides, motorcycles, uh, sand buggies. Uh, we have a very big group of people that come out and um, you know we've been doing this for many, many years. And, it's just a very fun, exciting family atmosphere. Um, this event, uh, we just kind of call our annual Christmas event. And uh, we do it every year just before Christmas. Many families come out with all their kids and we just make it a very big group. Um, we've probably been doing this event maybe seven years now. We started with you know basically three families coming out. We started this kind of Christmas trip and it's kind of grown over and over and we've gone from maybe seven or eight people to probably 80 people now. So the Glamis Sand Dunes is, is basically a stretch of sand that runs all the way from about El Centro all the way down past into Mexico actually. It's a very long strip of, of sand dunes. It's a uni very unique area. You know, there are some sand dunes in other parts of the United States, but really Glamis is, you know, by far the biggest um, and also the uh, tallest sand dunes of pretty much anywhere. You can ride, you know, five, six hours and never see the same place twice. Glamis is very unique because of you know, just pure sand. And so when you're riding, you try to get into kind of a flow with the sand. Dude. So when you're riding, everything is completely smooth. And so it just gives you almost a feeling floating you know, on water or air or something. You just, you have a completely smooth, uh, gliding, flying, kind of feeling as you're going through the sand. So you can just purely focus on the experience, you know, the ride, and where you're going, and almost kind of defy gravity in a way. It's an amazing experience. So, so my passion for Glamis uh, has kind of changed. Uh, when we were in grade school or high school, the, the challenge was the actual sand dune themselves. As kind of gotten older, uh, maybe I can do anything. Next level for me, you know, probably trying to uh, keep up with my kids. <laughs> So my expectation, you know, and what is happening is kids are becoming much faster and I'm becoming much older. So, you know, at some point, you know, I think there's going to be a switching. Yeah. And so my challenge is going to be to try to remain as 
competitive or as uh, uh, capable, you know, as, as the kids are. Everything that we do when we're out here is really teaching our kids, you know, about everything. You know, living in Southern California, not so many opportunities for kids to be outside and play in nature. So bringing them out here and, and letting them experience, um, you know, the freedom of just being out here and being able to explore and to find stuff, and um, it's important. It's very important and something that, you know, they can learn and appreciate, you know, as they, as they get older. There really is no textbook for Glamis. Um, you know, it's something that you just have to learn. You know, learn from doing. Um, you know, you can try to give direction, uh, but really you just have to experience. You know, it's not really something that you can read a book and know how to do it. kids play video games or they do their own thing, you know, but when you're here, you know, you're kind of part of a, um, an experience, you know, you're part of the, the camping and campfire and, uh, you know, cooking, you know, all of that kind of happens very close together, so, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's more of a bond, I guess, when you have it in an experience or an environment like this. Our, our biggest uh, selling point, I guess, that we, we use for, for other people when it comes out here is just the, I guess, the freedom, you know, keeps going. <laughs> 